Hi, I'm Sharon. Hey, and I'm Gary. And we're Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Yes, we do. Well, this video is a little, it's a short video about a little mishap we had in between our stay at Lake Manatee State Park and Hillsborough River State Park. In our last video, we reviewed Lake Manatee State Park and talked about checkout time and we were packing up to go and we're going to Hillsborough River. Well, that didn't happen for hours, hours. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We are at the Ranger check-in station. <laughs> Gary is not smiling. No, no, but hey. Well, we got hooked up and got ready to move and we have a tire pressure monitoring system and it cycled through the tires and one of the tires, well, it read zero. So, it shouldn't read zero. That's what it looks like. So I was wondering if one of my tire pressure monitors went went bad on me. Because it's never rang zero before. And these mm. are brand new tires we just had put on before we left mm -hmm. Ocala. This is our first This is our first like trip with it. So we hooked up, started going toward the uh, Ranger Station. We heard a noise. Pulled over to the Ranger Station, checked the tire pressure system again it was still reading zero so I got out with my tire gauge went back there to check the tire just to make sure that I didn't have an issue and lo and behold I have an issue that the tire is out of air and is flopping yeah you can physically yeah. move it with your hand so I have a vi air air compressor which is a pretty good air compressor so I tried hooking it all up putting air in it myself and I, I reach back in there but I can feel the air coming out between the rim and the, and the tire as quick as I'm putting it in. So the rim is not, the tire is not seating to the rim so I can put air in it all day long and it's not going to do anything for me. So I packed everything up and came in here and got on my phone to my CoachNet app which is who we use, gave him a call and uh, Sorry. they're on their way. This is our first roadside assistance. Yeah. And it, luckily we haven't left the park yet. Okay, well our tire is aired up. Hopefully it will, hopefully it'll stay, right? Hopefully. That's the goal, man. Okay, about, what, four and a half hours later, we're leaving the park. Yeah, we left at, what, 1230? Something like that, okay. So, five hours later. What, 530? It's 530. <laughs> oh, boy, the fun. But our tire is aired up and seems to be holding air. So, we will drive carefully. And if I had my druthers, stop along the way and check it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Hillsborough River. Heading there now, 5.30. We should be there at... 6.15. 6 6.45. 6, no, 7. We'll just round it up to 7. All right, here it goes. So this was our first call to CoachNet, which we called, and it was a Sunday, and it was a wait. Yes, it was a wait. Uh, back in looking in retrospect, when it first re registered zero, probably should have got out with the air gauge right then and went back there and checked it. But uh, I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't harm the tire. Thank God. But. So back to what she was saying, we did call CoachNet. That's the service that we use. It was a Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and they had to locate a dealer with a truck service to come out and put air in our tire, which was a right. little bit of a challenge for them. And they finally located a dealer that, was, that could do it, but they only had one service rep working, and he had several calls to make before he could get out to us. 
So one hour went by, two hours went by, three hours went by. <laughs> yes. Four, was it four and a half hours? Yes. Yeah. Um, Coach Ned did keep checking back with us periodically about every half an hour, letting us, updating us on what was going on. And the serviceman did arrive and he checked it out and said, um, yeah, well, of course, you know, that was broken away from the, the rim. It wasn't seated to the rim anymore, which that's another kind of a problem. Uh, he didn't bring a jack with him, <laughs> service truck without a jack. Sir. <laughs> so I had to use my, uh, my rear levelers to jack my rear of my motor home up to get, take pressure off that tire so that he could use his uh, equipment to blast the air back into that tire to reseat it and then add air to it. Which, uh, it's a big loud boom if you've never heard that done before. Yes, I learned. I, I was like, oh my God, what do he do? But no, yeah, it's boom. there. He, he's like, it's supposed to do that. Yeah. So. So he got it fixed and uh, all's well that ended well. It was, uh, what, five hours? Something like that. Something and, like and we that. did make, fortunately, and this is another reason why we don't like to travel long distances. So fortunately for us, we did not have that far to go, so we made it to our destination before dark. So all is well that ends well. I was in contact with the rangers at the ranger. We were right by the ranger station, so the check-in station. So we had plans to stay in an emergency site there if we had to, because we didn't know if it could get fixed or not. And I also had called Hillsborough River State Park and notified them of the situation and that we were we were waiting, so I had the gate code and everything I needed to get there later. So, just, um, that was our first. That was it. That was it. And, and why did I lose air? I believe it was probably my fault when I put my tire pressure monitoring onto the valve stem of that tire. Either I over-tightened it or under-tightened it, and it gently, slowly seeped air out ever so slightly over. And, right. uh and right now we're sheltering yeah. we're sheltering in place for covid and we got home safe well home to our home base yes. to our our family's house where we're mooch docking and no problems there yeah so so that was our adventure with our first right flat tire yep first and last we'll first go with that last. we'll go with that yeah <laughs> all right well um Next coming up is our review of Hillsborough River State Park that, that will be coming up soon. And also another little glimpse of the Florida Trail in the Fort Pickens area. So both of those videos will be coming out very shortly. And I think after that, we're going to do a short one or, or one on budget. Right, budget coming up as well. So yeah. we have some other videos coming, so stay tuned. If you like what you see here, like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. We're happy to help and we love the comments. So this is Sharon. This is Gary. From Rough Road RV Life. We love looking at freedom. Every single day, even, even in lockdown or shelter in place, <laughs> it's still all good. It's safe travels. Bye.